This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at a computer and pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him from a monitor next to his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee number 427 did for every day of every month of every year. And though others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour before he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had shown up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. But when he made it to the meeting room, he was shocked to find no one here either. What was going on here? He then decided to make his way to his boss's office. But he just couldn't do it. He considered facing his boss, admitting he left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Because he believed that all of his coworkers vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment without any reason at all, none of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why did doors close automatically behind him? And for that matter, these rooms are beginning to look familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that it had been on the tip of his tongue, he just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled, this is all a dream. What a relief Stanley felt to have found an answer. His co-workers weren't gone, he wasn't going to get fired, he wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring job. So I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to float gently off the ground. Then he imagined himself whirring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head, when he was amazed he hadn't asked sooner. Why is there a voice in my head narrating everything I'm thinking and doing? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it very strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it was very odd, he wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was, of course, this was not a dream. He would prove it. He would prove he was in control, that this was a dream. He closed his eyes gently and invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. He opened his eyes. Stanley began screaming. 
please, someone, wake me up! My name is Stanley, I have a boss, I have an office! Please, someone, tell me I am real, I must be real, I must be! Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. woman named Mariella. She woke up on a day like any other, but on this particular day, her walk to work was interrupted by the body of a man who had been stumbling through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Though she would soon call for an ambulance, for a brief, fleeting moment, she considered the strange man. He must be crazy. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought about how lucky she was to be normal. I am saved. I am in control of my life. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a way, seeing this man made her feel better. Then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled later that day. So she turned to the 